I'm Will Scott. Welcome into Saints Now. Saints training camp is underway, and on today's show, we're going to talk about some takeaways thus far from Saints training camp, and we begin with Marcus Davenport, who was placed on the pup list last week. Michael Thomas was placed on the pup list at the same time. Thomas no longer on the pup list. However, Davenport is still there. He was in the building, kind of seen working off to the side today at training camp. Obviously, he's coming off of a breakout year despite missing six games, was still very impressive and kind of showed the upside and the potential that he has on the Saints defensive line. I mean, my goodness, nine sacks in 11 games played, 16 QB hits, nine tackles for loss, 39 tackles, and what was by far the best season of Marcus Davenport's career. And he is part of a lethal Saints defensive line that is going to be getting to Tom Brady a lot this season, as well as other quarterbacks in the NFC South. Marcus Davenport, defensive end on the right side, as well as Peyton Turner, who will back up Davenport. We're going to get to Turner here in a second, and obviously Cam Jordan, your edge rusher on the left side. Now, Davenport could be removed from the pup list soon. It has more to do with football conditioning. Uh, that is what we're hearing, so I want to hear from you now. Will Davenport come off the pup list by week one? Is he going to be ready to roll for the regular season? Type Y for yes or type N for no. I think yes. I think Marcus Davenport is going to be just fine by the regular season. I think he will be activated by week one. Let's talk about Turner, who wasn't wasn't a full participant in practice today, practiced only in shorts, but did have multiple impressive rushes in team drills, knocked Gerald Hawkins on his back with the ball rush. So that coming from some training camp videos, some training camp reports that we have seen from reporters on the ground in the great state of Louisiana. Here's what Peyton Turner did last season in five games. It was his rookie season after being a first-round pick in 2021. So, unfortunately, he missed 12 games. We really did not see him a whole lot, but when he was on the field, he was really, really good, and he spent most of the offseason in New Orleans working with trainers at the Saints facility, trying to get his body right, trying to get ready for the 2022 season. Here's what he said about his offseason surgery. I'd say this is my second major surgery. I had a little foot surgery, sophomore year of college, but that's it. But this is definitely the most frustrating for me because the level and the stage I am at in my life and where I want to be. I cannot wait to see a healthy Peyton Turner back on this football field. And we saw the potential. We saw the upside with him last year. We saw the first round talent that he is, and we know what he can be. Look at what he did at the University of Houston, his last two years at Houston, eight and a half sacks, 18 tackles. He was spectacular. He was a first-round pick for a reason. I can't wait to see Peyton Turner, and obviously he has a lot of really solid guys to learn from along that Saints defensive line. Now, how many tackles is Peyton Turner going to have this season? Go down and predict it in the comment section. If you predict it correctly, we'll give you a shout out at year's end. How about that? While you're down there, be sure to turn on your notifications because we're trying to get more subscribers to turn on their notifications. In fact, we're having a contest this month at Chat Sports. Which channel can get the most subscribers to turn on notifications? The month is about to end. Let's finish strong. Go down, turn on your notifications, and type Noti Gang for a chance to get a shout out on a future show. Let's get into more training camp notes now. Obviously, very exciting that we're seeing football back in the boot. Steve Greller, Steve Geller, excuse me, reporting this from Dennis Allen, what he had to say today at camp. Taysom Hill likes playing quarterback, but sometimes you need to be unselfish for the team. Hill is willing to do whatever to help the Saints win. Now, obviously, Hill has played a lot of quarterback in the past for the Saints. He's expected to be a full-time tight end this season. However, D.A. said the other day at practice that he's still going to be taking some reps under center, which was a little bit surprising to hear. Kind of sounds like to me that Hill wants to play quarterback, that he prefers quarterback, but he's a team player and recognizes the fact that he's probably not going to play quarterback a whole lot this year with Jameis back on the saddle. Here is what Sean Finesdi of Fox 8 reported. Saints second practice is done. Rookie Trevor Penning and veteran James Hurst Both got first-team reps. Now, obviously, pinning first-round pick when he was drafted, he was expected to be the starting left tackle, but Hurst very much in the mix as well. That is one of the competitions we're watching at Saints practice camp between pinning 
and Hurst. Very, very tight-knit right now. Adam Troutman said this about Jameis Winston. The best thing about him is obviously he works so hard. I've rarely been around human beings that work as hard as him, and he's so intentional with everything that he does. Now, Jameis was seen working alone about an hour and a half after practice ended, so he's still recovering from that gruesome knee injury that he suffered in Week 7 last year. He's going be, to be a little while before he's a full go. In fact, we don't even know if he's going to be playing in preseason games. He is expected to be fully healthy by Week 1 against Atlanta. Trotman said this about the tight end room. We feel very confident about our progress and improvement that we will have this year, and we're very confident it will happen. So tight end, uh, you know, a lot of people are going to say that's a position of need for the Saints. Troutman feels pretty good about where this tight end room is at right now. Here is who was not seen at practice. So Tyron Matthew, the honey badger, was not there, but we do know that he was excused from practice this week due to a personal family matter. We certainly hope everything is all right with Tyran. We haven't heard really anything at this point. Sage Dockstater, offensive tackle, was not seen at practice. Juwan Johnson, Rashid Shahid, and then uh, Tanoa as well was not seen at practice. So those are the five guys that were not at practice today. Are you excited to have football back? If so, go and type who dat down in the comment section. Training camp underway. Very soon, the regular season will be underway. Go down and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything because we're bringing you Saints news, Saints rumors throughout the entire preseason. Also wanted to hit on this before we, hit, before we got out of here. Ian Rappaport reporting at this hour the Jets are signing linebacker Kawan Alexander, formerly of the 49ers and the Saints. He has familiarity with Robert Sala from their days in San Francisco. He gets a one-year deal. So Kawan has officially left the boot. He is going up to New York to play for the Jets, and we've talked a lot about the possibility of re-signing Kawan Alexander. In fact, I've said on this show several times that they should do it. They did not. He's a Jet. Here is the current linebacker depth chart. So I said I would have a lot more confidence in Kawan than Zach Bond as a starting linebacker, but it looks like it's going to be Davis, Warner, and Bond as the three starting linebackers on this team. We'll see how Bond does. I'm rooting for him, but Kawan is a better linebacker, and I'm a little bit disappointed that the Saints let him get away. Now, show Kawan some love. Type KA in the chat to thank Kawan Alexander, who is now a member of the New York Jets.